Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel I'm Carla so today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful corner to corner granny cluster square um, I've used this beautiful purple colour for um, just to sh show you what it looks like it's really easy it's a be beginner friendly so um, the yarn uh, I'm going to use today for the tutorial will be in this beautiful colour crafter this is DK so this is a three weight yarn it is called Helmand it's a 100 gram ball 300 meters you can use four millimeter need needles or a four millimeter crochet hook it's a hundred percent premium acrylic and i can assure you it is lovely and soft um i found no problems when i was making the purple square at all um there was no i didn't have to rip rip anything out um and there was no uh it wasn't tagging on anything and it was easily going over the crochet hook without any issues so without further ado let's have a go at the tutorial so for this tutorial you will need a stitch marker which will come in handy a bit later on your hook i am using a four millimeter hook i got this free with a magazine a while ago um, and a pair of scissors and some darning needles you will only have two ends to sew in i mean how amazing is that so what you need to do now is make a slip knot like so pop your hook in And you need to chain four so yarn over your hook there's one let me start that again there we go so yarn over your hook and pull through there's one chain two three and four as i'm in the uk i'm going to be using uk cro crochet terms so um for this tutorial you will need to know how to do a treble crochet which in the usa is a double crochet and know how to do chain stitches so yarn over your hook, insert into the fourth chain from the hook, yarn over and pull through, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You need to do another three trebles yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two yarn over insert yarn over yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and the last one yarn over back into the hole yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two so now you have your chain three which counts as a triple crochet um then you've got your four trebles here chain three 
and turn your work. Into this little gap here, you need to do a granny cluster, which is three treble crochets. If you're in the USA, these are your double crochets. So you will need to do three. And I can get this right. <laughs> There's one. There's two. And there's three. Chain one. Skip across the three trebles below and into the space here four trebles one two three and four And that's row two so on you'll find that on your sides you will do four trebles and in the middle stick in the middle spaces you will do three trebles I shall show you as we go on so chain three and turn your work So into the space here, three trebles, because your chain three counts as a treble, so you need to do three, so that makes your four trebles. So one, two, And three chain one skip over these three trebles from the row below and into your space three trebles chain one Skip over these three trebles and into the gap, four treble crochets. So in the USA, that will be four double crochets. So that's what it looks like. Chain three and turn your work. So like I said, your chain three counts as a treble crochet. Into the space, we do three treble crochets. Chain one, skip over those three trebles, yarn over and three trebles into the chain one space. Chain one, skip over these three trebles and do three trebles into the, into the space.
two and three chain one and skip over to this gap which is in between your three trebles at the side and your chain of three which you started your previous row on so we do four treble crochets into this space There's one, two, three, four. So as you can see, this grows quite quickly. Chain three. And turn your work your chain three counts as your first treble crochet into this space here which is in between your chain of three from the row below and your first set of three treble crochets you do three treble crochets There's one, oops, two, there we go, there's three. chain one jump over these three trebles into the chain one space three treble crochets chain one jump over these three trebles three treble crochets in your chain one space Chain one, jump over for the next three trebles, three treble crochets into the chain one space. Chain one, jump over these three trebles and into the space after your three trebles and before your chain of three from the previous row you do four treble crochets chain one jump I'm just going to pop this down for you. So there are five rows there. It, like I say, it works up quite quickly. So I will show you again. Chain three. turn your work in between the gap three treble crochets chain one Jump over your three trebles into the chain one space, three treble crochets. Chain one. Chain two. 
chain one jump over your three treble crochets to the chain one space three treble crochets chain one jump over these three treble crochets to the chain one space three treble crochets chain one jump over again three trebles chain one and into the space after your last set of three treble crochets and before your chain three you need to do four treble crochets One, two, three, and four. So, as you can see, we're up to row, we've completed six rows. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue with this I shall do another what you need to do is another six rows so you need to make 12 rows once I've done that I will come back so as you can see I have now completed 12 rows and it's looking really pretty so this is the stage where we now make it square so we'll come across and square up so this is where your stitch marker as i said to you to start with comes in handy especially if you're a beginner so what you need to do is chain three and turn your work Now, what we'll be doing is skipping this section here where we've been putting after our chain three, where we've been putting another three treble crochets. We won't be doing that. What you do is you skip that and you skip over those trebles. You yarn over and you do three treble crochets. One, two, and three. And then what you need to do is to con uh, chain one and then continue with your three trebles, chain one, three trebles, chain one, doing your three trebles in the chain one spaces, chaining one. And what I'll do is I'm going to do that and I'll meet you down at the bottom. So. As you can now see, I'm coming to the end of row 13. I've done my chain one. I'm going to do my last three treble crochets into this, my last chain one space. Chain one, 
and then I'm and then I'm not going to do a chain one. Oh yeah I'll do a chain one and then I'm going to do one treble crochet into the top of the chain three on the side. And into that stitch, this is where you put your st stitch marker. Turn your work. Actually, don't pop it there. From your chain three here, pop your stitch marker in. Chain three, skip this space here, go over to this chain space here, yarn over and three treble crochets. One, Two, and three. And then do your chain one, three triple crochets, chain one, three triple crochets, all the way down, and I'll meet you down at the bottom. So here we are at the end of the row. So what you need to do chain one after your last set of three take your stitch marker out yarn over and put one treble crochet into the top of that stitch like so Chain three, turn your work, skip this space here, skip over these three trebles and yarn over and do three treble crochets into this gap. Chain one, three trebles into your next space. Get some more yarn, chain one, and then continue all the way up. And then I'll meet you just before the last space here. So as you can see, I've reached the top again. So I've done my last three trebles, chain one, and now I'll skip over these three, yarn over, and then into the top of the chain three, I pop one treble crochet. Chain three, 
turn your work skip over this space into the next space three trebles chain one three trebles chain one three trebles chain one and then you'll do that and then I'll meet you at the other end so as you can see I'm virtually at the top again I've just done my last three triple crochets into the space before the last set of three trebles from the row below chain one yarn over and then as we did before one treble crochet into the top of the chain three. Chain three. And turn your work. Skip this space here skip over these three trebles and as we've done before three trebles into the next chain one space chain one three trebles into your next chain one space chain one Three trebles chain one three trebles so as you can see I have a chain one space here and a chain one space here you will need to do three trebles into this one chain one and three trebles into this one and i'll meet you back in a moment so as you can see you need to do a chain one three trebles into the last chain one space chain one skip over these three trebles ignore that space yarn over and into the top of the chain three one treble crochet chain three and turn your work Now, as you can see, this is now squaring up. This is your chain three. So what I will show you is I will pop my stitch marker into the top of that chain three. And then I shall skip this space here, jump over those three trebles and then into the next space my three treble crochets and so on as I'm going up do my last set of three treble crochets into this last chain one space chain one and then we're back to the 
stitch marker and I'll show you once again what to do. So as you can see I'm just completed my last set of three trebles. I just need to chain one, remove my stitch marker, yarn over and into that chain one treble crochet. Chain three and turn your work. I will pop my stitch marker back into the top of that chain three, like so. This is so it's easier for you to find it on your way back, so therefore, you don't into this space here you don't suddenly do a set of three trebles because otherwise it's not going to um, become square and the decreasing does go rather quickly as you can see this is nearly done so I'm going to yarn over skip the space skip those three trebles and do three treble crochets into this chain one space chain one yarn over into the next chain one space three trebles Chain one, three trebles, chain one, three trebles. Oh, I have a knot there. No, it won't be a second. Okay. So, last three trebles. Chain one. Remove your stitch marker. Yarn over into the top of that chain three, one treble crochet. So this is decreasing absolutely lovely. Chain three and turn your work. So as long as you remember when we get into this stage of the decreasing that you skip the first space and then you yarn over and you start in the second chain one space to do your next set of three treble crochets so I've got one two three and four spaces to do I'm going to decrease a little bit more until and I will show you what to do for the final corner so, as you can see, we only have one chain three space left in the middle. So I'm going to chain three, turn my work, skip this space, skip these three trebles, three trebles. into the chain one space chain one yarn over and one treble crochet into the top of your chain three
chain three. Turn your work. Yarn over. Skip that space. Skip those three trebles. And one treble crochet into the top of that chain one space. Chain one. Chop your yarn. Gently pull it through. Tighten down your knot. And then we have and then we have your C to C granny cluster square. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have, um, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider su subscribing to my channel and giving this video a, a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate that. Um, and if you'd like to leave me a comment down below, um, I'd really appreciate that because it's nice to um i will answer your comments um i really enjoy um answering the comments because it's nice to chat to different people because this community is amazing so um i will weave in my ends um off camera i'm not going to bore you with that and i will see you soon for another video until then Hope you've had a great day. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.